Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a gain reduction meter in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a vocal. And it sounds like this. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. And I'm going to add some compression to it. So I'm going to go to the effects. And as we can see, I have an EQ already on here, then a compressor, then another EQ. And if I want to compress the vocal, I could do it right from here. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Hold on, keep steady, gonna give it my all. And if we look over here, there's a gain reduction meter for this plugin. So you can see how much gain we're reducing when we compress it. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Hold on, keep steady. But while we're mixing, we might want to monitor how much gain we're reducing. And if the plugin window is closed, we can't see it. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. In our meter over here. We have to open it up each time. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a gain reduction meter that we see over here or in the mixer. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add two more channels to this track. If we go to the routing, right now we have two channels. We're going to change that to four. So channel three and four are going to be dedicated for this meter. Then we're going to go back to the effects and add another plugin. We're going to search polarity. There's a plugin right here called Channel Router with Polarity. So we're going to be using polarity or phase to phase invert the sound to create this meter. So we're going to put this plugin before our compressor. It needs to be right before it, not before the EQ or any other plugins. Otherwise, it won't work. And we're going to send one and two of our audio to three and four, which is going to be our meter. And we're going to change the polarity to invert both channels. So now what's happening is we're phase inverting our sound before the compressor and sending it to three and four. So we should see that on the meter right now. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. That's what the second meter is doing. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Let's go to our mixer and we can see it right here. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Hold on, keep steady, gonna give it my all. That second meter is our level before the compressor, which is why it's higher than channel one and two, because it's not compressed. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. So now we'll add another plugin to combine those two signals. We'll search for a mixer and we'll choose the one right here, eight stereo to one stereo. And that's gonna mix one and two and three and four. We can ignore the rest because we're only using four channels, as we can see right here. And they're being sent to one and two. So we're actually gonna hear the difference right now. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Hold on, keep steady, gonna give it my all. So what we're hearing right here is just the audio that's being compressed. So if we can put that on a meter, we'll have a gain reduction meter. So we can send this to three and four. So we'll go back to our pin connectors and switch this from one and two to three and four. So now we're not gonna hear it, but we can meter it on three and four. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Hold on, keep steady, gonna give it my all and never regret it, good, bad, right, or wrong. So the second meter is the gain reduction that's happening. Now another thing I like to do is to lower it to make it more obvious. So let's go to our mixer and bring this down about 20. And you could do this based on your own personal preference, just so the meter stands out a bit more. Now we should also make sure that the mixer goes right after the compressor. So this one's right before, and this one's right after. 
Now the meter is going to be a bit lower, but more obvious. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Hold on, keep steady, gonna give it my all. And we can see it a lot clearer as you bring down the compression. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Hold on, keep steady, gonna give it my all and never regret it, good, bad, right, or wrong. So our first meter is our volume. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. And the second meter is our gain reduction. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. And we can see it in the mixer or the track control panel, as long as we leave on multi channel track metering. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Hold on, keep steady, gonna give it my all. Now, if we wanna make it more obvious, we can create another track and just dedicate it as a meter. We could turn off the volume with the master parent send. We can send from this track to this one, but only send three and four and change the display using the track layout to small full meter. Let's make it a bit smaller. Now this meter is dedicated to be a gain reduction meter for this track. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Now this one we're seeing both, so you can turn it off right here. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. This is the normal meter for our volume. And this is the gain reduction meter for our compressor. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Hold on, keep steady, gonna give it my all. And but that might be overkill, as we could just use the multi channel track metering and see it here. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Hold on, keep steady, gonna give it. Or see it in our mixer. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Hold on, keep steady, gonna give it my all. Now you're probably thinking, this is what I have to set up each time, but we don't have to do that. We can save it as an effects chain and make it a lot easier. So let's open up the effects. Again, this one's before, this one's after. Let's first rename the effects instance. Right click it and rename it here. I'm going to name this Game Reduction Meter Send. And this one, Game Reduction Meter Return. Then we can save this as an effects chain. Just select this one and this one and not the others. Right click it, go to Effects Chain, save selected effects as chain. Then we can name it Game Reduction Meter and we could use it at any point. Let's delete these for now and put it back to two channels. And let's say we want to create a gain reduction meter for the vocal. Just open this up, adjust our compressor. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Hold on, keep steady, gonna give it my all. Then we can double click over here, go to our effects chains and add it from here. And then just move our send to be right before the compressor and the return to be right after the compressor. And it's also gonna work with multiple compressors. Just make sure we put them all in between these two plugins. And then automatically, it's gonna add those two extra channels we need and we'll have a gain reduction meter on the track. I've got to be strong now, I'm ready. Hold on, keep steady, gonna give it my all. Let's check the same thing out on a snare. Here's a snare track that I have. And I already have a compressor and an EQ on this track. So if I wanna add that meter, I can just double click. Go to my effects chains and add it right here. That's going to add the two channels we need, along with the plugins 
we could put before the compressor and after the compressor. And just like that, we have a gain reduction meter on the snare. It's just a lot easier to monitor it without having to open up the plugin each time. And that's pretty much it. That's how to create a gain reduction meter in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!